Today at our 2006 Fleetwood Bounder Motorhome, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Sumo Spring Solo Custom Helper Springs for the front axle. That's going to be part number SSF-280-47. Here's what our helper springs look like once we have them installed. These are going to greatly improve the handling of our motorhome as well as making our ride more comfortable because they're going to support our suspension and help out carrying all that weight and prolong the life of it. It's also going to absorb a lot of the bumps and road shocks as we're driving down the road, so it's going to be a lot more comfortable. One thing I really like about our helper springs is that once they're installed, they're completely maintenance free. We're not going to have to worry about adjusting air pressure or running air lines like you do with airbags. I do want to mention that we have our motorhome lifted, so the suspension is hanging down and there's quite a big gap right here. But whenever we lower it back down to the ground, our helper spring is going to come in contact with the leaf spring and it's going to take a lot of that weight and absorb a lot of that shock. Our springs are going to be a progressive rate spring, which means that when we have a soft load or no extra weight, it's going to have a soft engagement and compress slightly. But the more weight we add or the more pressure is added to it, it's going to compress and get stiffer and it can compress up to 80%. Now, although it's going to compress up that much, it's not going to expand out to the side. Our helper springs are designed to replace our factory jount stops, so they're going to be independent from each other on side to side. Now, that's going to help out a lot whenever we have an off-center load, because it's going to compensate for that, and they're each going to compress the appropriate amount. But at the same time, if we take an evasive maneuver and turn sharply, this is going to help keep it more stable and we're going to lose some of that body roll and just kind of that floaty feeling when we're going down the road. The springs themselves are going to be made out of microcellular urethane, so they're going to withstand most automotive chemicals like oil, gas, as well as road salt and UV rays. Our springs are going to have a 1500 pound weight capacity, but keep in mind that these are not designed to increase the payload of your vehicle, they're just there to help support the weight. So now that we've seen what they look like and gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get them installed. To begin our installation, you want to lift up the motorhome so that there's going to be a gap in between the top of the leaf spring pack here and the frame. And we'll find our factory jount stop, it's going to be right above the leaf spring and we're going to remove this. In order to remove it, we're going to, need to twist the jound stop to break it loose. On the inside of the frame, the nut is going to be in the very center, right where our jound stop is. So we can take a 9 16 wrench, and we're just going to feed it kind of in the frame, and then we'll turn the jound stop while we're holding the nut, and then we'll turn the jound stop it's going to unscrew it from the nut. You want to unscrew it until it completely comes off. We can reach up into the frame and we're going to pull out a lock washer and a nut. So now we can grab our new spring and the hardware we're going to be using is going to have a new flat washer and a new nut. So we'll remove those two. We're going to slide the stud into the hole that we removed our factory jount stop and then secure it on top of the frame using the washer and nut. Take our jount stop and I'm going to push it all the way up into the frame and then reach in, put the washer in place and then I'm going to hold the nut with my hand while I turn the jount stop just to get it started. It is a tight fit, but you'll have just enough room to get your hand in there to start the nut onto the stud. And once it's started, we'll grab a 13 millimeter wrench and we're going to hold the nut while we spin the John stop to tighten it up. We'll just turn this and tighten it up till it seats all the way against the bottom of the frame. Should be able to just wedge your wrench in there so it'll hit the side of the frame so we can continue to tighten it up. And once you have it nice and secure, we can pull the wrench off and we're going to repeat that same process on the other side. 
That'll finish up your look at the Sumo Spring Solo Custom Helper Spring for the front axle, part number SSF-280-47 on our 2006 Fleetwood Bounder Motorhome.